everyone, this is Melissa with Melissa Made, and today I'm going to be sharing with you a project using the Whimsy Stamps Paper Door Kit called Corny Candy Corns. It's a September kit. You get quite a few goodies in this kit, starting with some adorable stamps and little goodie bags. And today I'm going to be sharing with you how I made a card um, that's also a gift card holder. So I'm using the items you see before you and I'm starting with a piece of the black cardstock that comes in the kit and I'm cutting that down to fit on an A2 size card as well as a little piece of white sparkly paper that comes in the kit. So I'm just cutting them so they can layer. The card is an A2 size card so that means the black paper is five and a quarter by four and the white is uh, three and three quarters by uh, five and I'm also going to be taking this little gift bag and actually cutting the top of it now you have an option you don't have to cut the top of it off you could leave it as a flap and maybe use some brads or some cute little things and twine to make a, a little bag that opens and closed but I decided just to cut mine off because this card will go on in an envelope we have quite a few birthdays in the months of September and October so I think a Halloween themed birthday card is just perfect so now what I'm doing is just simply layering um, some black paper underneath the um, little pocket that I made with that goodie bag. And I'm doing so so that it just stands out a little bit against the white glitter um, paper. I'll often do this kind of layering with papers where I just stick it into my paper cutter and kind of line it up so that it's about right. And so now what I'm going to do is stamp out some of the cute little candy corns. I'm not going to show you how I color all of these. Ooh, but I will tell you, I use this little tiny stamping block, and when I got it with a set of stamping blocks, I thought, now who in the heck is ever going to use this tiny little stamping block? How ridiculous. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite thing, especially for um, the little faces that go on these candy corns and a lot of little stamps that you might have in your stash. It makes it so much easier to stamp, I can't tell you, and to line up those little eyes and and mouths on there it just it's a dream so if you get a chance to buy these little stamping blocks I would do so I can I'll link um, in the description box to the ones that I got um, also in the kit you get these adorable little um, candy corn die cuts to make your life easy although they are very easy to cut out if you like to combine the stamps and I do so in a previous video that I posted but for this one um, I'm just going to go ahead and use the little the die cuts that come into the kit and then I'm going to set those aside and go ahead and start assembling my card. So I use my tape runner and I um, add some tape to the back of this little envelope and then I attach that to that little piece of black card stock that I cut out. And then I'll go ahead and uh, adhere my little candy corns. I apologize, I didn't do a coloring video for these. If you are interested, I did have a previous video that shows you how to color these in more detail including the Copic colors that I used. However, I think this, you know, that you can use whatever you want. You can use watercolors, you can use water uh, pencils, you can use, you know, Copics, whatever you're comfortable with coloring. Just color these cute little candy corns. They look cute no matter how you color them. So I'm adding foam dots to the back and just adhering those to the envelope. And then I'm just going to simply layer these cards, uh, card stock pieces together um, using my, my tape runner. Now, um, I, used, I like to use a really sticky um, adhesive here. You can also use glue if you prefer, especially on top of the glitter paper, although I find that my ATG gun, my AGT tape runner there, um, works really well. So I'm going to adhere that white piece now to the, um, or the black card stock to the card base, and then I'll adhere that white piece that has the envelope and the candy corns on it centered into the black card stock. This is truly an easy card, a very easy layout. I just like the idea of having this little gift bag on the top that you can put um, a gift card in. So also in the set you get a set of dies that has this cute little tag and I am going to take one of the little candy corns from the stamp set and just stamp this repeatedly in my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. This is a Copic Safe ink and then I will be coloring those little candy corns with my Copics and it's a very simple coloring as they are tiny so I'm just going to go in with a YR07 and color in the bottom part of that little candy cane or candy can candy corn wrong holiday 
and um, then I'll be going in with a Y13 and coloring in the yellow portion there and then I'm just going to leave the tip of that white since it's such a small space. Then what I'm gonna do is because I want people to look inside of the little envelope that I put on the front, I am going to um, take the little eyes from the stamp set. At first I was gonna write it on there, but I was like, oh, you know, there's two little eyeballs that look like O's that would be perfect to say the word look. So again, I get that cute little stamping block out. I'm going to use my VersaFine Claire to get a nice clean stamp here and stamp those little eyeballs on there and then add an L and a K um, around each side of them to, to make the word look. And then I'm also going to write the word um, inside. Now I use a Faber-Castell um, small tip pen here. You can use any marker that you are um, comfortable with write, handwriting in. Um, and, and then once I'm finished with that, I will simply adhere that to the envelope and oh before I adhere it though I'd like to actually put a little hole punch and add some of that cute black and white gingham ribbon that comes in your kit. I apologize my camera was um, focusing in and out there because I'm kind of moving around and I have it on a close zoom for you to see exactly what I'm doing. But anyhow I go ahead and just tie that little ribbon onto um, this tag and then adhere the tag to the top of my card and I have a finished card where I can add a nice little gift card to the inside and then put a happy birthday sentiment in the inside of the card. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Make sure to hit up that descript description box below, subscribe to my channel, and I hope you have a great day. Look for more great projects at Whimsy Stamps and Paper Door.